Hi there, it's Oliver here from Blentus.com. In this first part of the tutorial, we're going to see how to add materials to the scene, how to apply them to the objects, and how to change uh, the basic parameters of the material. So, let's go for it. Okay, so here in this scene, I have these three cubes, uh, which I'm going to apply some materials, okay? So, we select the object, and we go here to the materials panel. Alright? Let's click new and here we have a new material. This object already has a material applied. Let's call this material uh, red mat. This is the name of this material. Right, here you decide the type of uh, material it will be. Okay, you have this wireframe material, a volumetric one, and a halo one. But right now we are going to focus on the surface uh, materials, which are the most used. Okay? So, here you have the preview window. In this little panel, you can see the behavior of the material. So, try to keep it always aside, because it will help you to know what's happening when you tweak parameters. Now, in the diffuse uh, panel, you will decide the base color of the material. In this case, it will be red, for example. And you can see on the preview window that it, it has changed to red. Here you decide the type of the shader, okay? Fresno tool, the, 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 the normal one is Lambert. All right. With A, you can close or open the different submenus or just click in, on this arrow. The specular panel uh, will let you uh, adjust the coloring intensity of the shines of, of the material. Right, so you can change this shine color to something like orange, like this, and make it more intense and a bit more hard. Right, close it, and let's pass to the shading panel. On the shading menu you have these properties. Uh, emit is the amount of light the object emits, but keep in mind that using normal render parameters it won't actually emit light, it just will make the material brighter without affecting to the scene's illumination. Right? As you can see, it affects the material but it doesn't illuminate uh, the background. Okay. Now, shadeless will make the material to be not affected with lights and shadows, so it will be seen just plain. Ambient, uh, when you have an ambient color and the world's ambient illumination, by default is black, you will find it on the world panel, and here you have the ambient color, by default is black. Okay, but if you have here some color to uh, illuminate all the scene, here on the ambient parameter you will decide how much uh, the ambient color affects this material. Okay? And now the translucency uh, is the amount of illumination the object receives from behind. Uh, very useful for things like curtains, paper, and all that stuff. Okay, now transparency. Well, this is a pretty cool one. By default it is disabled. Okay, so if you want the, the material to be transparent, just activate it and you will have to decide between C transparency and ray trace. Well, C transparency is the basic transparency uh, material and ray trace is more realistic but it will take more time to make the render, so use it just when needed. Okay, uh, C transparency, uh, you will have these options, uh, alpha, which will decide the, the, the amount of transparency the object has. Okay, here you, you see that it lets uh, see the image behind it. And the specular will decide the, the amount of transparency the shine parts, the specular parts have. Okay, normally it's on one. Okay, the Fresnel panel uh, will make some kind of smoothing between the borders and the center of the object's transparency. 
Okay, now let's move on to ray trace one. Okay, ray trace have some uh, additional parameters than the normal ones of the C transparency, which are this one. For example, the indosol refraction. This will make the object to have refraction effects. Okay, so changing this parameter, you will get some different uh, refractions. Okay, for example, this ones. This uh, parameter is very, very useful for simulating, for example, uh, glass materials. Okay, here you have the amount of glossiness. Okay, this will make the material, uh, the refractions to be more glossy or less glossy. And also you can change the quality of it. Okay, if you can see here, you can see some points. Uh, okay, uh, it's a blur with low quality. And here with the samples, you can increase that quality. Okay, right now it's much better. Right, next, deactivate this so you can see the rest of, of the parameters. Let's move on to the mirror. On the mirror panel, you will uh, decide if the object has reflections or not. Okay, uh, here in the reflectivity parameter, you decide the amount of reflectivity the object has. Okay, this is 100%. Here, you will decide the color of the reflections. Okay, let's stay in white. The Fresnel effect just the same that the transparency one okay it will smooth the effect of the reflections between the borders and the center of the object and here you have this option the mass distance this will tell the object how many distance it will uh, receive the the reflections okay so more than 12 meters in this case it will blend to the material color or the sky color in this case. Uh, you will tell Blender if it, if it takes the sky color or the material color for blending. Okay, this is very useful also. Now the amount of glossiness again and here the quality of the glossiness effect. Here you will see it's better. Now, the subsurface scattering, uh, it will uh, simulate the, the, the light, the backlighting uh, scattering inside the object. Okay, but this is pretty advanced, so we are not going to enter on that at this tutorial. The strand are parameters for the rendering the, the fur uh, made with particles. Okay, so uh, I won't use it uh, on this tutorial also. And in the options or sh and shadow uh, panels, you have some options uh, on how Blender renders this material, right? So, but these are pretty advanced. So normally you won't uh, need to 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 tweak this, all right? But if you need to, uh, well, just see what they uh, make on the tooltips because these are pretty advanced and we're not going to enter in that in this basic tutorial. Alright, now I'm going to add uh, two more materials to the scene. Okay, so this will be the green matte. Okay, change the diffuse color to green. And this one will be blue matte. and change the diffuse color to blue. All right. Also, another thing on the preview window, you can check here what kind of object you will uh, use for making the preview, right? You can use a sphere, a cube, a monkey. This is very useful when you need to uh, see how a, com a complex object behaves with this material, right? The strand when you are rendering four or uh, an sphere with the sky behind it but this is the, the, the normal one 
All right. Now we have three materials on the scene. We're going to see how to uh, apply them, right? So here you have an object, and uh, checking, uh, clicking on this uh, button here, you will get a list of all the materials on the scene. So we can uh, add this material, add this object, another material that is already created. A blue mat, all right? Red mat again. And here, now I have two objects using the same material. Here, at the at the right side of the of the material that this object has applied, we have this number here. This tells us the number of objects that are using this material. If we want uh, now this object to have the same material, but modify it a bit for whatever we want, just click here, and we have a copy of that material applied to this object. Now you can see that uh, there is no button here telling us the number of objects that are using this material, because we just have this material on this unique object. So blue mat 02 and we can see that we have now two blue materials. We can make this a bit of variation like this. Otherwise if we have the same material applied to it uh, you will see that if we modify this material it will affect off the objects with that material applied. Okay, <laughs> just as suspected. So blue mat two. But we are going to uh, here. You can delete this material. Add just the blue mat, and here just add the red material. All right. Now I have all these cubes created here for showing you how to apply the same materials the same material to uh, more than one object at the same time so we can select them all okay and the last one we select is the active object so we are going to apply a material to that object for example the green material okay and now uh, for applying this material to all the selected objects we press Control L and link the materials, and we have this applied. Control L materials, right? So when you have a big scene with a lot of objects that use the same material, you can apply the material this way, and not just uh, going one by one applying the material. Now another cool thing uh, is how to apply more than one material to the same object. Okay, let's go here, select a face, and here you have this uh, little window. Here you can apply more materials. For example, uh, let's create a new one, and by default we duplicate the first material we had applied to this object. But here, you can change the material, like blue. Okay? But what? Nothing happens. <laughs> well, because the materials that are not uh, applied uh, to the object, we will need to assign them in the edit mode. Okay, so just select a face and click here, assign. Sorry, here select the different material, assign. And this phase now it's a different color. Same for this one. Let's create red material and assign. So we have now different phases with different materials into the same object. And well, we can also uh, select uh, a material that this object has applied and click here for selecting uh, the, the phases that are applied in, the, in, in which that material is applied. Sorry. So green material, select, and we will select the, the phases that had 
this material applied. Red, select. Note th that uh, this will add the selection to the uh, previous selected faces. So if you want to just select the red faces, click select with nothing selected. Okay, press A, select everything or nothing. Now blue mat, select, the blue face will be selected. Okay, so this is everything for the first part of the material lights and rendering uh, tutorial. In the next part, we will see how to add some light to the scene and make a render with the materials. Okay, so uh, see you soon and happy blending.